What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode Master Modes Film Session. And today, we got to talk about DeMonte Casey and this interception that he had versus Deshaun Watts. Phil Thick. So, you know how we do. Hit that like button. We'll go ahead and play this thing in full speed. And then after that, we're going to break it down. But that is Casey right there, circled up nice and neat. And yeah, baby. This dude, boy. Whew. It's craziness. Uh, go get a hook. Go, go make a play. Go make a play. Mm -mm -mm. All righty. All righty. Let's slow this thing down and let's talk about it. So, first off, I mean... I love the disguise on this from a pre-snap standpoint because right now man we're not given any legitimate information there is nobody in the middle of this field so initially you're thinking what could it be cover zero could it be cover one or is there some type of pressure coming on but at the same time the way Mika is hanging over here you get the illusion that it could be you know a cover three or potentially like we said man some type of cover zero blitz so I definitely like that. But what they're actually playing is the Tampa 2. We know they love their Tampa 2. And how do they get to it? Levi Wallace is going to end up here. Mika's going to stay there. You're going to have Edmonds be the middle runner. Then you're going to have Spillane vertical hook front side. Then this is Casey vertical hook. And then Cam Sutton is going to be your squat corner. And then you have james p air on the front side or excuse me on the back side as your squat corner so that's the final formation of what it gets to but pre-snap looks nothing like that and that is the beautiful part because now as you're watching casey he has his vision where he needs to be but he knows this by disguise he understands he's already going to be in good position now you can see in joke was reading this like a hot and that's 85 the tight end right here you see his eyes instantly go back to deshaun but for casey he doesn't have to move off of this point because he's protected. He knows if this route comes in terms of uh, Njoku, if that route goes across the field, he has another defender there. If Njoku takes this route and climbs here, it's okay because he has his middle runner here. So for Casey, and he's also protected on the outside because it's uh, the squat corner over there. So Casey, understanding all of that, says, man, I'm just going to be aggressive. It's third down. What do I have to lose right here? And even though... They morph the route, right? So instead of it being in Joku, even though he was looking there, he ends up taking a vertical. You get the number two guy coming underneath. But either way for Casey, the action's happening in the exact same spot for him, which is perfect because of his drop. And now from there, he's just being aggressive, being a playmaker. Go and beat the receiver to the ball. Go make the catch. And now from there, man, go get you some run after. Heck of a tackle right here by Watson, man, to go get him down because I thought he was going to touch paint personally. But excellent read by DeMonte Casey. And this is what... You know, when you take when you come on his tape, whether you're looking at him in Atlanta or what he's been doing here in Pittsburgh, he is a ball hawk. He is a guy that has elite ball skills and just his anticipation and just understanding of the concepts that the offense is trying to run. That's why he's able to do these type of things. I mean, this play right here, he is literally running the route for the receiver because he knows what he can get out of this formation. He also understands his strengths and weaknesses in this coverage and where he's protected at. Excellent play across the board by DeMonte Casey. And, um, you know, he's one of those guys that I really thought, you know, showed a lot of uh, productivity and a lot of flash when he was available to us this season. So, um, you like you guys let me know your thoughts on DeMonte Casey and his performance this season. If you would like him back, you know, if you think that you'd want to like him back. But either way, you let me know your thoughts and I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.